Hey guys, press the bell icon and never miss a video from Ayola DIY. Welcome to my channel everyone. Today I will be teaching you all how to make teeny tiny embellishments using very basic supplies and then you can use these embellishments to embellish any kind of projects be it cards, layouts or album. I am using charming baby girl paper pad from Dress My Craft and along with that I will be using a paper punch in a camera shape from EK Success. In case you are not able to find this punch you can actually cut the shape by hand. Once we are done cutting the shape you can use any shapes actually. Take a small circle punch and cut a hole out of it. This is very important because we are going to make a small shaker embellishment using this. To make your shaker embellishment take a felt sheet and cut a strip which is of exactly same width as your camera or any other shape which you are using. Now take the strip and lay your camera on top of it and after that cut small squares which are exactly of same size in width as your camera or any other shape which you have been using. Once you are done cutting that, the next step which you are going to do is basically make a window. So for that, make markings of your circle. I am using a small paper cutter to make markings and then I am just simply going to cut a window out of it. It is a super easy simple step. If you have a die which is of the same size, you can use that. But as I don't have that, I am going to use simply my paper cutter. Stack all the pieces together so that they are thick enough and they make a very nice hollow window which has a good amount of girth to it. I'm sticking all the pieces together using a regular school glue. Foam has dried. Just take a regular acetate sheet which you can find as a part of packaging of regular grocery items and then just stick on it such that you can make a window which is clear and from one side it is blocked. This is going to be the base of our shaker embellishment and inside this we are going to fill it up with some very nice sequins. I am using Dress My Craft uh, purple colored lavender colored sequins and they are perfect addition for these shaker embellishments. And then on top of it I will be adding this word bead which you can again find at many local craft stores and in India you can easily find it on Crafters Corner. And then I am just going to add some micro beads so that when you shake it, it makes a very nice noise. Once your shaker camera is dry, let's embellish it from the front. I am using these small bows by Dress My Craft and all I am going to do is just put a small mulberry flower on top of it. This is a pretty simple and easy embellishment which you can make and it is very inexpensive. It doesn't even require a lot of fancy material and for the camera shape, trust me guys, you can cut it by your hand or you can use any other shape like hearts, circles, squares or maybe a window with a slanted top. It will look very pretty. The next teeny tiny embellishment which I am going to make 
is basically a tiny fan. This one specifically reminds me of my childhood and my school days. I used to make this fan and I used to use it all the time. But this is again a very tiny version of it. For this, you will be cutting a 3 by 2 inches size of a small pattern paper. Using a scoreboard, if you have it, just score it at every quarter of an inch. In case you don't have a scoreboard, you can always use your hands. And once you are done scoring, what you will do is that you are going to gather the entire paper in a zigzag fashion, as I am going to show you in the video. Once that is done, I am going to take some twine again by Dress My Craft and I am going to tie it up at one end. Uh, make sure you tie the ends very tightly so that your fan doesn't fan out. You need it to fan it out to a certain extent. Expand the fan from both the ends and then just simply add some flowers on it. Our perfect small fan is ready to embellish our projects. Up till now we have made these two cute embellishments. Let's, do, let's move on to the next one. For this you will be needing a basic triangle shape and you can of course use your hands, you don't need a punch for it. And what you will do is basically cut two triangles, one sm slightly smaller than the other one. And then de-stress the base triangle and after that use some double sided foam tape to stick both the layers together. This would give a little dimension to the triangle and it would look prettier. Now add some sequins or any kind of uh, small uh, embellishment to make it prettier. What I am doing is that I am adding these foam hearts by Dress My Craft and some red bows again by DNC. Uh, you can de definitely embellish it with other things like flowers, ribbons or even beads but I decided to go with a simpler look and in the end I'm just going to top it up with a word bead which is easily available in Michaels in US and in India from Crafters Corner. I really hope you guys have enjoyed watching this video it was a super easy tutorial with very 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 less supplies please do share your version of embellishments and share it on social media and don't forget to tag me as team Ayola DIY. Have a great day. Bye.